out now. Reparations Now, the documentary. You can go to reparationsnowdoc.com. That's reparationsnowdoc.com. As well as Tubi. For the latest gear, go to etmediagroupstore.com. That's etmediagroupstore.com. If you shop at Amazon, which I'm pretty sure you do, go ahead and hit that affiliate link. We greatly appreciate it. It's free and it helps support uh, Eman Mass Media Group and what we're doing. Thank you. Road to Reparations Community Show, right here on Eman the Mass Media Group. Tune in Sundays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's Sundays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, right here on Eman the Mass Media Group we talk about the legislative process, legislators, and all upcoming reparations related bills. Harriet Tubman, free labor of love. As people stuff their face with hot dogs, beer, and soda, today we will remind everyone who the original laborers that built the foundation of this country. On this day, we honor and cherish those who labored for free in these United States of America, who built this country with no compensation and persisted through deplorable circumstances, but the only comfort of sanity was the possibility of surviving another day. We love you, we honor you, we thank you. In the heart of the 19th century, amidst the darkness of slavery and the shadows of oppression, Harriet Tubman emerged as a beacon of hope and a conductor on the Underground Railroad. Her life was a testament to the indomitable human spirit, the relentless pursuit of freedom, and the enduring power of courage. Born into the brutal reality of slavery in Maryland in the early 1820s, Harriet Tubman, originally known as Araminta Ross, knew the agony of forced labor all too well. From a young age, she was separated from her family and subjected to the whims of her merciless masters. But deep within her, an unquenchable fire burned, a fierce determination to break free from the chains that bound her and her people. As she grew older, Araminta faced not only the harsh labor in the fields, but also the horrors of physical abuse. One fateful day, she was struck on the head by an overseer, leaving her with a permanent scar and recurrent seizures. These seizures would later become a source of divine guidance that she interpreted as messages from God, guiding her on her path to freedom. In 1849, after years of torment, Araminta decided she could no longer endure the shackles of slavery. With only the North Star to guide her, she embarked on a treacherous journey to escape her bonds. She adopted the name Harriet Tubman to honor her mother and her husband, John Tubman, who had given her unwavering support in her quest for freedom. Over the next decade, Harriet Tubman would make an astounding 19 trips back into the heart of the slaveholding South, leading hundreds of enslaved individuals to freedom. She became a legendary conductor on the Underground Railroad, a secret network of safe houses and sympathetic individuals who helped slaves escape to the North. Harriet's missions were fraught with peril as she navigated dense forests, treacherous rivers, and slave patrols. She used her deep knowledge of the land, her resourcefulness, and her unwavering determination to evade capture. Her faith in God and the North Star as her guiding lights never wavered, even in the darkest of hours. One night, as Harriet led a group of fugitives through the thickets of Maryland, they stumbled upon a group of slave hunters hot on their trail. Fear swept over the group, but Harriet's unwavering resolve stilled their hearts. She turned to them and said, I never ran my train off the track and I never lost the passenger. With that, she led them through a harrowing escape, eluding the hunters and ultimately guiding them to the safety of the North. In addition to her role as a conductor on the Underground Railroad, Harriet Tubman became an outspoken advocate for abolition and women's rights. 
She met with prominent abolitionists, including Frederick Douglass and John Brown. And her remarkable story inspired countless others to join the fight against slavery. Harriet Tubman's dedication to the cause of freedom never wavered. Even after the Civil War and the Emancipation Proclamation, she worked tirelessly for the rights of African Americans, becoming a nurse, a suffragist, and a humanitarian. Her legacy as a symbol of resilience, courage, and the relentless pursuit of freedom endures to this day. Harriet Tubman's life is a powerful reminder that one person armed with determination and a profound belief in justice can change the course of history and lead others from darkness to freedom on the Underground Railroad. Thank you for your time and always thank you for your support. Please be safe with you and your family on this Labor Day. And on that note, peace and reparations. And don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. You are now listening to Welcome to California by Obsidian Diet, found at most online retail streaming and download partners, the soundtrack to the documentary Reparations Now, and the single from the album The Repair. For more information, go to obsidiandiet.com.